What's up guys? James here. Just checking out some Tom. Got a four trunk Robolini right here. Harley. Some Myadinidias. About to plant that one into a big giant pot there. Another one here. This is how the seeds forming. It's just uh pretty cool. There's lots of them. There's a stock here that didn't really fully come out, but it's still farming good. Sorry about the noise, my neighbors having a party. This tree right here is producing leaves crazy. It's got another another front right there. Another one. That's a, I think this is like seventh, sixth or seventh for the season. This thing's pumping them out. And you can see this was the center frond last fall when this thing started growing, like last late last summer. That was the center frond. It was all the way in the center of the tree, so all that, all those fronds, let me back up here. All this center section is all like that's the leaf, uh, that's all new. It's uh, a lot. That's level of palms. It's uh 32 Celsius today, so 90, uh, 192 Fahrenheit. Very, very humid. It just uh, we just had a nice little quick rain shower, like the sky went black, didn't thunder or anything, but got a palm here. Here's all my, this is the how to grow Washingtonia robusta palms. This is the first one, the largest one. It's just growing like crazy, man. Got another leaf coming out right there. This thing is, uh, it's got three basically adult leaves right now, uh, like palm fronds. This is the second one. This is, I just recorded this one today. This is the second one that went into the thing. It's doing great too. Like this, this palm right here, this one's a year older than it, and this one's same size, and maybe even this one might be a bit bigger. Got a queen palm right here. I made a little mark here to see. I got this queen palm for free. It's a seven gallon. And uh, I made a little mark here with my nail. I jabbed it into this frog uh, and marked the center. Sorry. Marked the center right there. So you see right there? It grew about, this is three days ago, so grew about an inch a day. I think it really badly needs to be repotted. But uh, we'll see how that does. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't really have a place for it or anything. And they just get so tall so quickly. So. There's the grass. And these palms out front here. So these little ones here. You can see this one. If you watch my other videos, you'll see this one's got... So it had spear pole from in the fall. It had uh, water in their crown all winter long in the box. And in the spring, the spear turned gray. This one pulled out. This was in May. I only pulled this out in like mid or end of May when it started turning gray. So this was part of it. And then since then it's made this one, like it pushed this out. This was all the way down in there, like way down in there. I jabbed a screwdriver in the heart and stuff like that and hydrogen peroxide in it. So then it's made another frond. This was also down in there. This is the another petiole of one of the ones I ripped out. And then another frond already. So it didn't miss a beat. Spear pole and everything. Didn't miss a beat. This one here is just uh, just opened another frond the other day. It opened this one like maybe a week ago, and it's uh, it's getting pretty big. I mean, these it's pretty big. This is a Trachycarpus hybrid Wagnerianus uh, from Banana Joe uh, from Vancouver, uh, Salt Spring Island, Vancouver area of uh, Western Pro uh, Pacific uh, of Canada. But uh, this one here, yeah, it's got a nice healthy spear. It's uh, it's actually not fully. Usually this one opens the leaf after it comes up, but this one here is opening even before it comes up. But it's looking good. I mean, it's it's growing in a little more shade. Um, this one here, it's got four leaves up. This one right here is gonna open any day. It's got the, you can see down there, you can see it's got plenty of petiole. It's uh, just ready to open whenever it does, whenever it chooses to. So these ones are all, those are the new four leaves for this season, so not bad anyways. And just take a little, peek here over the fence. I don't really feel it. I'm just picking weeds. Whenever somebody says they use filter cloth or any of this stuff, don't use anything. Just pick. Oh, I gotta trim off the leaf. Just pick the weeds. And upkeep and maintenance is the key to having a nice lawn or a garden bed or anything. So that was the, the first leaf that started opening well, uh, after I opened it up out of the box. That was the only, this is one new leaf and that's the second one on the palmetto here. It's hard to see. Yeah. Anyways, it's growing like a weed. There's the grass. I'll just take a little peek. I'm not opening the fence here over there. It's the Washingtonian Robusta. Just doing great. Opening fronds once a week. Even more, something like four days. Got a 
yuck, I hear flowering. I hate these things actually though. I thought they were cool at first, but I don't really care for them. Kind of ugly. They keep the old dead leaves in the bottom there. So. Grass is looking good. It's starting to dry up a, br a bit brown in here. It's, uh, it's tough to keep it in this much heat. Uh, even though we've been getting rain too, it's, it's uh, heat stress for the lawn. It's, it's not designed. This is like Kentucky Blue and these uh, tall fescue and different, uh, I don't know, they're all mixes, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't like over 100 degrees, or like 90s, it, it can't really handle it in full blazing sun, so. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Later.